Have you ever wondered why vultures, often considered nature's clean-up crew, are so important to our ecosystem? Often misunderstood and maligned, vultures are a crucial part of nature's grand design. These fascinating birds are far more than just scavengers. They play an essential role in keeping our environment healthy and disease-free. Let's take a closer look and unmask the vultures. Vultures are large, often bald-headed birds known for their scavenging habits. They are found in every corner of the globe, from the vast African savanna to the high peaks of the Himalayas. With a wingspan that can reach up to 10 feet, they are imposing figures in the sky. But it's not their size or appearance that makes them so vital, it's their diet. Vultures are nature's waste disposal system. They feed almost exclusively on the carcasses of dead animals. This might sound gruesome, but it's a vital job. By consuming these carcasses, vultures prevent the spread of diseases that could otherwise infect other wildlife, and even humans. Without vultures, carcasses would rot, attract pests, and become breeding grounds for harmful bacteria and viruses. Vultures have a remarkably robust digestive system. Their highly acidic stomach juices allow them to consume rotting meat that would be deadly to most other creatures. This tough digestive system not only provides vultures with their meals, but also serves as a first line of defense against a potential epidemic. Moreover, vultures are incredibly efficient. They strip carcasses down to the bone, leaving virtually nothing to waste. They even consume the bones, extracting precious nutrients that most other animals can't access. In this way, vultures are not just cleaners, they're recyclers too. So next time you spot a vulture circling high overhead, don't shudder in fear or disgust. Instead, appreciate these unsung heroes of the animal kingdom for their vital role. They are not just scavengers, they are the custodians of our ecosystems. So vultures are not just creepy birds circling overhead, they are nature's invaluable cleaning service. How does a vulture with its bare head and neck feast on a carcass without becoming a mess, you may wonder. Well, these crafty scavengers have some unique physical adaptations that make them quite efficient at their job. Firstly, let's talk about their bald heads. It may not win them any beauty contests, but it's a vital asset in their dining process. When a vulture plunges its head into the body of a deceased animal, a feathered head would become rather messy, don't you think? Their bare skin is easy to clean and maintain, preventing any leftover dinner bits from rotting and causing infections. It's all about hygiene, you see. But wait, there's more to the vulture's dining etiquette than just a bald head. Have you ever wondered how these birds manage to feast on decaying flesh without getting sick? The answer lies in their stomachs. Vultures possess incredibly strong stomach acid, potent enough to neutralize harmful bacteria and toxins found in rotting meat. This is why they can dine on carcasses that have been decaying for days without the slightest worry of food poisoning. Now, isn't that a neat trick? Another aspect of a vulture's dining etiquette is their methodical approach to eating. They begin by consuming the softer parts of the carcass, such as the eyes and the tongue. This allows them to conserve energy and make the most of their meal. Once they've had their fill, they'll retreat, allowing other scavengers to take their turn. Moreover, vultures are rather patient diners. They can wait for hours, even days, for the right opportunity to dine. They understand the importance of letting their meal ripen to just the right level of decomposition. This patience is another testament to their incredible adaptation to their unique lifestyle. So the next time you see a vulture, don't be quick to judge. Their bald heads and unique dining habits are all part of a sophisticated survival strategy. This dining etiquette of vultures ensures they remain clean and healthy even after feasting on the dead. Did you know that vultures have an incredibly keen sense of smell and sight? It's these remarkable sensory abilities that make them masters of survival in the wild. Imagine this. You're a vulture soaring through the open skies, your razor-sharp eyes scanning the ground below. You're not just looking for anything, though. You're on the hunt for the telltale signs of a meal. Perhaps it's the slight discoloration of the landscape or the subtle movements of other scavengers. Whatever it is, your keen sense of sight picks up on it, even from thousands of feet in the air. That's right, some vultures can spot a carcass from such a great height, making them unparalleled aerial scouts. But what if the carcass is hidden, tucked away out of sight? Well, that's where a vulture's sense of smell comes into play. 
Some vultures possess an extraordinary olfactory sense, so powerful that they can detect the scent of death from over a mile away. That's like being able to smell a single slice of pizza from 20 football fields away. How do they do it? Well, vultures have a highly developed olfactory system that can pick up on the faintest whiff of decaying flesh. When they catch a scent on the wind, they follow it like a breadcrumb trail, leading them straight to their next meal. It's a remarkable adaptation, one that has allowed these birds to thrive in some of the world's toughest environments. But it's not just about finding food. These heightened senses also help vultures avoid danger. They can spot potential threats from a distance and quickly adjust their course, ensuring their survival in the wild. In the grand scheme of nature, vultures play an essential role as nature's cleanup crew, preventing the spread of diseases by consuming carrion. And it's their incredible senses of sight and smell that make this all possible. With such impressive sensory abilities, vultures are indeed masters of locating their next meal. Ever thought about what a vulture's social life might be like? Well, let's dive right in and find out. Unlike the image of the solitary scavenger, vultures are surprisingly social creatures. They often feed, fly, and roost in large groups known as a committee, wake, or venue. Yes, vultures have their own unique collective nouns, just like a murder of crows or a parliament of owls. So why do they choose to live in groups? One reason is safety in numbers. Predators are less likely to attack a group of sharp-beaked vultures than a single one. Besides, a group of vultures can spot food more easily than one vulture on its own. Now let's talk about communal roosting. At the end of the day, vultures gather together to roost in large, often noisy groups. These gatherings serve as a social hub where younger birds learn essential survival skills from their elders. Roosting together also helps vultures exchange information about food sources. It's like their version of a dinner party where the main topic of discussion is where to find the next meal. But it's not all about food and safety. Vultures also use communal roosts as a place to clean and preen their feathers. Regular preening keeps their feathers in good condition, crucial for these long-distance flyers. Speaking of flying, vultures rely on thermals to travel vast distances. Thermals are upward currents of warm air that form when the sun heats the ground. By soaring on these thermals, vultures can travel great distances with minimal effort, conserving energy for when they need to swoop down on a meal. It's not uncommon to see large groups of vultures spiraling upward on a thermal, a sight known as a kettle. Despite their grim job, vultures are surprisingly social creatures. Their social behavior is a testament to their intelligence and adaptability, showing us that there's much more to these misunderstood birds than meets the eye. But did you know that these incredible creatures are under threat? Indeed, vultures face a number of challenges in their struggle for survival. They fall victim to intentional poisoning and incidental poisoning from ingesting lead in carcasses. Their habitats are shrinking due to rapid urbanization and deforestation. And let's not forget the unforeseen danger of colliding with wind turbines, yet hope is not lost. Conservation efforts are in full swing across the globe. Rescue centers and wildlife organizations are fighting to rehabilitate injured vultures and reintroduce them into the wild. Laws are being enacted to curb the use of harmful pesticides and protect vulture habitats. And technology is being harnessed to make wind turbines safer for these majestic birds. We all can contribute to these efforts. By raising awareness, supporting conservation organizations, and advocating for eco-friendly practices, we can make a difference. The survival of these fascinating birds is in our hands. Let's ensure we do our part to conserve them.